In this video, we're gonna learn about Porter's sequence, also known as Porter's syndrome or oligohydromnios sequence. Now the problem in the Porter's sequence arises due to a condition called oligohydromnios, which means low volume of amniotic fluid in the amniotic sac during pregnancy. Now let's talk about what are the causes of oligohydromnios in Porter's sequence. But before moving on to the causes, I will briefly explain about the formation of amniotic fluid. Amniotic fluid comes from the maternal plasma and passes through the fetal membranes by osmotic and hydrostatic forces. And after the development of kidney at around 16 weeks, the fetal urine highly contributes in the amniotic fluid volume. But if there are developmental abnormalities such as renal agenesis, where there is absence of both the kidneys, the urine formation is halted and thus the volume of amniotic fluid decreases or there is oligohydromnios. Also other conditions such as ARPKD or autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease can lead to renal failure and again oligohydromnios. Or there can be atresia of ureter where the normal passage of ureter is closed so the urine formed in the kidney cannot flow out. This condition often results in prenatal hydronephrosis. Another condition that can lead to oligohydromnios is posterior urethral folds or valves. These are obstructive membranes that develop in the urethra and block the outflow of urine. And these are mainly seen in the boys. Next one is chronic placental insufficiency where there is low blood flow from the placenta meaning the fetal kidneys receive less blood and in turn leads to less urine formation. Or there can be rupture of amniotic membrane which leads to leakage of amniotic fluid. So all of these conditions results into oligohydromnios. Less amount of amniotic fluid can cause pulmonary hypoplasia or incomplete development of lung because amniotic fluid plays a major role in the development of lung. Pulmonary hypoplasia is the major cause of death in babies with Porter's syndrome. Amniotic fluid induces mechanical strain to the lung by physically stretching it. It results into production of different growth factors such as platelet-derived growth factor, connective tissue growth factor, and vascular endothelial growth factor. These growth factors make major structural components of the lung. Also, the amniotic fluid contains amino acid proline, which helps in the formation of connective tissues and collagen in lungs. Hence, the reduction in amniotic fluid causes formation of underdeveloped lung. Also, another major function of amniotic fluid is to provide mechanical cushioning to the developing fetus and low amount of amniotic fluid causes compression of fetus which results into different developmental abnormalities. So let's talk about those abnormalities. Retrognathia it is a condition in which the lower jaw is set further back than the upper jaw. There is depressed nasal breeze and low set ears in which the ear is situated below the normal location. These lack cartilage and are also called Porter's ear. Eyes are spaced further apart than normal also known as hypertellurism. 
prominent epicanthal folds which are abnormally prominent skin folds in the inner corners of the eyes can be seen. This collection of facial features is sometimes referred to as Porter facies. There can be different limb abnormalities such as club foot. The feet rotate internally at the ankle. Bowing of legs or genuvarum and sirenomalia or fusion of legs also known as mermaid's syndrome. Diagnosis is usually done with ultrasound at second trimester of pregnancy. But often at the time of diagnosis, the condition had already worsened. Hence the prognosis is poor. Most babies die before birth and even if they survive after delivery, there can be lung failure due to pulmonary hypoplasia, which can lead to death. There's a very nice mnemonic to remember the features of Porter syndrome, and it is Porter. P stands for pulmonary hypoplasia, O for oligohydromnios, which is the trigger, T stands for twisted face or Porter's faces, another T for twisted skin, the skin appears wrinkled, E for extremity defects and R for renal failure.